Welcome to my video on factor theorem uh, and remainder theorem and also dividing polynomials. And what I'm going to show you here is how um, you answer examination questions um, like the one you can see in front of you. So for part one, it says find the remainder when f of x is divided by x plus 2. Two different ways of approaching it. Um, you can divide it all through by x plus 2 to see what's left over at the end. But using the remainder theorem means that all you have to do is just make sure you just put f of minus 2 into the equation. And when you do that, obviously you'll get uh, minus 2 cubed, minus 4 lots of minus 2 squared, plus 5 lots of minus 2, take away 2. And if you work that out, that's minus 8 minus 4, lots of 4, which is 16, minus another 10, minus 2, which gives you a grand total of minus 36. Part 2, showing something as a factor, um, is again, it's reasonably straightforward, very closely linked to part 1. Um, if it's a factor, that means when you substitute in um, the solution to that bracket when it equals 0, i.e. 1, you should get nothing. That's what happens if something is a factor. So if you put f of 1 in, you get 1 cubed. You get minus 4 lots of 1, which is minus 4. You add 5, because 5 lots of 1 is 5. Take 2, you get 0. Therefore, x minus 1 has to be a factor. Finally, part 3. If it's actually solve the equation, you've already got one of the answers, that's x equals 1. We just showed that through the factor theorem a second ago. What it's now asking you really to do is to divide the polynomial you've got by x minus 1. And as you remember from before, that means you type in x minus 1 three times, because it's a cubic, and we're just going to work out what the other bits are need to be. So we've got x cubed, that means I have to have x squared. So I've got x squared so far. I take away, um, in fact I meant x cubed of course, so you take away x squared. If you expand that bracket, I need minus 4x squared, so I need another minus 3x in here. So that gives me minus 3x squared plus 3x. I want a 5x, which means I need a positive 2, and as a check, 2 times minus 1 gives you the minus 2, so that's all good. So when I uh, put that into uh, an answer, I have x minus 1. I have x squared minus 3x plus 2. And you will notice, hopefully, that this then factorizes into x minus 1, x minus 2. So your solutions are x equals 1. Notice how these two brackets are the same. That's fine. It's a repeated solution. And the other answer is 2.